beautiful day Patriots how are you today it's uh, January 24th 2019 I truly believe this is going to be a very big day uh, this is POTUS Trump's tweets for today the 24th I'm going to kind of just go over how the West Coast timestamps will work but also the gaps will work for everybody so here we go today's uh, first tweet of the day was at 448 West Coast time this is POTUS Trump's tweets if we go to Q drop we're going to see at the bottom it says coincidence and news unlocks the map so what I was talking about when we go and start you looking at the timestamps the timestamps themselves are going to teach us and show us how the code works coincidence his next tweet came in at 457 Okay, so if we go to QDrop 457, we'll go and it will say, God bless you all. I've been also showing and noticing how he also talks about giving us prayers and blessings and uh, starts us off with prayers in the morning. This was, uh, it says Merry Christmas on the QDrop, but does that QDrop only apply for that Christmas day only? This is how you have to read between the lines and start to see how things connect. Uh, they all connect, but every line doesn't always connect with every single cue drop. Like one cue drop, when you read every single sentence, it doesn't always mean that that cue drop makes sense. So each cue drop can be used multiple times. Moving on. The next week came in on, at 4.59. We go to cue drop 4.59, and it says it had a lot of different codes, okay? So it had the Twitter, the floor is yours. And all these codes and so it didn't make sense so now I started using in the timestamp and gap code I started to use because it didn't make sense the mirror so instead of 459 Q drop I went to 954 and it says next week boom 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 I'm not saying that next week is boom 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 but it, when you don't understand the Q drop you move into the codes mirror moving forward at 10 47 he did his next tweet when I went to that Q drop it didn't make any sense you know not all of them will but it's also the first time we've got a substantial gap so I went to and figured out the time difference between the two tweets it was five hours and 59 minutes so the gap was 558 there we go to Q drop 558 and it's timing is everything state of the union which well what's the tweets we're talking about what tweets is he talking about he just accepted nancy pelosi's <laughs> gracious offer of not doing the state of union <laughs> timing is everything so right he just uh released that it's the first gap of the day timing is everything state of the union this is the time stamp and gap code so all the different timestamps are West Coast and it was teaching us how to do it but at the same time the first gap is the same for everybody no matter where you are in the world the first gap message of the day was timing is everything state of the Union moving on the next week came in at 11 o'clock once again I went to Q 1100 didn't quite make sense so I went and found the gap the gap was six hours and 12 minutes the gap would be six hours and 11 minutes excuse me the difference between was six hours and 12 minutes the gap being six hours and 11 so we go to q drop 11 and it talks about uh, the condolence to the patriots about the hard times we're all going through hard times right now we have to read between the lines everything's up to you i'm just showing you where i was at with this Moving on, next tweet comes in at 11.09. We go to QDrop 11.09 and it's talking about how California is targeted. Well, hello Nancy. We haven't heard anything of Diane in a minute, have we? I know uh, Adam's been there around. He got kind of messed up a little bit. Uh, keep your eyes on California, right? So I also went and found the gap which was uh, the dime difference between the two tweets was six hours and 21 minutes gave us a gap of 620 gap we go there and it talks about having patience 
and it was also talking about how the Queen and uh, May are both neutralized. How these people are stupid, how it would be inspired, you know, 24 7, 365. If you know what I've been talking about, you know what that means. Moving on, we go to this next tweet at 8 12 and at 8 18. That was a, a two uh, tweet stringer, it had four dots in between. I have to admit, this is something that's new for me. I've been saying for a couple months, uh, about a month maybe, maybe two months, that any time that we saw four dots in between tweets, we would not see any time gap in between. Well, it's been two times, uh, yesterday or the day before, I believe he did it, and again today. So uh, I'm still learning. This is all new. Uh, okay, moving forward on that. I went to the QDrop 812, it didn't make sense. I went to QDrop 818, I didn't see anything that really made sense. I looked at the gaps, okay. Uh, didn't really seem to make sense, okay. You know, I mean, there's stuff that says there, but isn't that what everybody's doing, just pulling out QDrops and saying how they got, they don't tell you how they got them, right? So I don't want to just throw out QDrops. Got to make something how it all ties together. So what, what it is, is you go four dots, the gap is six minutes, the, excuse me, the difference is six minutes, so the gap is five minutes, and four. So it's four, five, four. We go to QDrop 454, and it talks about how time stamps have meanings. Okay, it talks about the five, 10, 15 marker gaps in explaining this. So this is an explanation on uh, how I do the timestamp and gap code, how I go through it. These are kind of the notes on it. Timestamps have meaning. Uh, like, uh, so, you know, here we go. You guys, God bless you all. I uh, praise Jesus for giving me this information and allowing me to understand this. All the glory to Jesus. Amen.